Good morning, folks. Dave Daniels here, Thor Motor Coach. Going to walk you around the 2021 Tuscany 45MX. Um, this is the studio collection interior that we're standing in, and this will be outfitted with the Sanibel cabinetry, as well as the Rosa interior decor color. So um, we do offer another color uh, in a lighter and another color wood, but we're walking around the, uh, the Sanibel right now. So a couple of notable features here with this studio collection, uh, you get a different color countertop, you get a nice modern backsplash, some modern valences around the windows, um, you get a different, you see, uh, you get a different trim molding around the fascia of the slide outs, uh, a much more, uh, instead of that elegant um, circular uh, ceiling plenum we used to have, you see it's a nice linear design. And then also the flooring, you see it's a nice, again, the um, wood grain look, uh, porcelain tile. And we do have a heated floor in this Tuscany I'll mention a little bit about later. Um, so that's just a little bit about the interiors here and we'll kind of narrow it down, go side to side, front to back around this coach and show you what we got going on. So one of the nicest features about the 45MX floor plan is its overall living quarters. So up front here in the living room, over on the driver's side, you see we've got these nice reclining theater seats. We do use a Villa leatherette in the Tuscany brand. So as you can see, you got this nice recliner here. We're facing our 55 inch Sony Bravia. Two seats here, nice big storage down below, cup holders. You flip your uh, driver's seat, passenger seat around, and you can see we've got everybody here watching TV, conversating, that type of stuff. If you look over across from the theater seats, you've got this nice, big, long 98 inch sofa. And this is all part of what we call the ensemble. Um, as far as the furniture design goes, it's basically the sofa is integrated in with the uh, dinette, the dream dinette we have there. And another notable feature is all the beautiful windows that we have here in your living quarters. So when you're not enjoying the 55 inch Sony Bravia, you can always put the TV down out of the way. You see it exposes a nice big seven foot window back behind. You got another four foot window directly over the dinette. Dinette is on the pat patio side so you can sit there and enjoy your, uh, your view. Plenty of windows over again across from the, uh, the, the sofa above the theater seats and another nice window in the kitchen area, which we'll mention a little bit here as we move on. So a couple of the notable features here with the kitchen and overall countertop and cabinetry. What we did last year is we not only, you know, switched up the fascia for the studio collection, you have your traditional crown molding up top but we also added this additional little bit of molding down here on the bottom, what's called a light rail molding. That'll help basically hold those under, or hide those under cabinet lights, as well as give it that nice high-end feel. Um, countertops, so not only the countertops are upgraded in the studio collection, but also you get a thick uh, edge profile up front. We added about another half inch of edge profile, so it gives it that big, heavy, high-end uh, countertop feel. And then mid model year, you see we've added this under, under countertop lighting that you can control off and on, as well as the uh, toe kick lighting down below. Across from the kitchen, I'd like to point out the, the uh, dream dinette. So it's a nice dinette here for four people. Uh, again, it's got that nice, thick, uh, solid surface countertop here in the kitchen. Throughout the entire coach, we run solid surface in the Tuscany. Um, but again, I mentioned curbside dining. You're sitting here with your family. You're looking out at your patio. Uh, it is a very nice feature having your dinette over here on this side of the coach. A couple stainless steel cup holders. And again, you can see storage cabinets up above, uh, as well as this nice big window to enjoy your view. And then just outside of the dinette, we've probably noticed this beautiful electric fireplace been updated we've gone with this glass rock design versus the uh, versus the traditional logs that you would see and also notice the solid surface Corian surround around our fireplace just gives it a real nice high-end feel uh, versus you know traditionally we would just do a wood reveal there 
So with the appliances I mentioned, the convection microwave, we have the induction cooktop that is removable for outside use. And then Fisher Paykel drawer dishwasher, as well as we got a nice pan storage down below. The 21 cubic foot Whirlpool French door refrigerator. And then you always can't forget in your, to finish out your kitchen, we've got these nice pull out pantries here left of the fridge, top and bottom. So stepping here into the master bedroom, one of the most notable things you'll see is this nice big king size bed. It is a true king, 72 by 80 inches long, and it does feature our tilt-a-view mechanism where you press one button, it tilts down for sleeping at night, and then you can put it up, tilt it up out of the way, watching TV, what have you. Uh, you see some nice massive nightstands on either side of the bed. You will have USB ports up on each nightstand. 110 plugs will be down on the bases of each nightstand. See these deep cabinets up top. Who couldn't use all that extra storage? You see how nice and deep those are? Uh, again, solid surface countertops throughout. So you have solid surface back here in the bedroom. Um, anytime we do these tilting beds down underneath, we're always going to give you extra storage. So you see this one comes equipped with four drawers. Here across from the master bed, uh, you'll notice we have a nice deep wardrobe. So you have an actual wardrobe rod across, a couple of shelves. You can lower the shelf so you can hang stuff. Three drawers down below. See again how nice and deep those are. Two more drawers here. And again, just look at how nice and deep these are. And the only way to accomplish this type of depth across from the bed is to have that bed tilt up and out of the way. So a couple deep drawers there. Nice dresser with a window. TV will always hinge up. So you have more storage back here. You've got your Blu-ray player, HDMI switch box, uh, a little cabinet back here that will hide a lot of the electronics. Finally, here across from the bed, we have our full-size uh, stackable washer and dryer. And again, the only way to accomplish having a washer and dryer at the foot of the bed is to have that bed tilt up and out of the way. A couple other things here in the master bedroom is on a Tuscany, we do give you a ceiling fan in the bedroom standard. And if you notice, the doors actually go to a frosted glass style door. So these pocket doors we have here front and rear of the bedroom to shut off the bathroom, those are a nice, uh, again, upgraded look with that frosted glass we have in there. So stepping back into the master bathroom, you remember what I said, kitchens and bathrooms sell uh, homes and real estate. Again, this bathroom is the best bathroom that we offer in Thor Motor Coach and one of the best, in my opinion, in the RV industry. So dual lab sinks back here in the back. You see we have these nice high-end uh, vanity faucets here. Just nice medicine cabinet space. Plenty of storage for your knickknacks. Give you this nice little drop drawer right here, but plenty of countertop space. You got uh, GFI outlets here accessible. Give you a couple of tip outs underneath the sinks, storage cabinets down below, and always gonna have plenty of drawers, full length drawers. So if that's not enough storage for you, and we saw the one wardrobe in the bedroom, one of the best selling features about this rear bath that we have here is this full eight foot wardrobe. And we do offer a cedar line shoe storage inside of there as well. So here over on the other side of the master bathroom, again, full eight foot wardrobe in the rear. Uh, you do have a macerator toilet here in the back. Nice storage cabinet up above the toilet, but let's talk about this shower because this is the best, biggest shower we have in our lineup from Thor Motor Coach. Uh, all Tuscanys will have a porcelain tile surround as well as a dual shower head up top. And this is a massive shower, not lacking any size and space here. And that glass surround just makes it have that real high-end feeling uh, in this Tuscany motorhome. We went to this porcelain tile a couple years ago and it is a very 
luxurious high-end look. Heading back towards the front of the coach, midway, we're going to find our half bathroom here. So starting from the top, you'll notice fantastic fan. This coach will have three fantastic fans, rear bathroom, mid bathroom, kitchen, all fantastic fans throughout on our diesel products. We'll always give you a nice medicine cabinet here. You can see the backsplash matches the kitchen backsplash as well as the solid surface countertop throughout the entire motorhome with that nice heavy edge. You see the lavatory faucet as well as I want to mention down here the Tuscany is equipped with a toe kick dustpan meaning you sweep all your dust and debris right in there goes right down into the tank. Also it does have the connection where you can hook up a hose and manually uh, vacuum throughout the coach. So here midway in the coach you'll also find our multiplex control panel. So I'm just going to briefly walk you through this. Here on the home screen you can see you've got your light master on and off. You can check your tanks, turn on your aqua hot, diesel, electric, house chassis battery, your ACs uh, as far as the temperature and the three zones we offer. You can also control all your lights from this light button here so you can turn on cargo, awning, service. Individually you can turn on any of the lights throughout and then any of the ones with the arrows if you press and hold that'll actually dim the light it'll cycle all the way through if you want to get that back to full power you can just simply press and hold the master on button that brings everything back to full brightness moving on to the electrical we are plugged in 50 amp shore power it's showing it's going in through the inverter and charging the house start and stop generator showing you chassis voltage you can check on your inverter charger turn it off and on through here AGS auto gen start we operate it on three functions time temperature and voltage trigger for low volt trigger for HVAC or temperature and then time there's your quiet time at your campground um, start and stop volts all pretty self-explanatory easy to uh, maneuver and navigate on to temperature we actually run three heat 315 ACs with three heat pumps on the Tuscany. So here you can see front, mid, and rear. And you can activate cool heat pump. We run three heat pumps on all three. And then we do run an aqua hot system, the 400D, throughout this entire coach. And the final thing you notice here is floor. We actually have floor heat, front and rear floor heat. So that's a one through five. And that'll heat up that porcelain tile for you throughout. You can turn on your aqua hot diesel and electric right here as well. And then also in the exterior bays, you're going to have a system and bay heat with aqua hot heat exchangers. And that way you can keep your tanks from freezing and keep your basement at, at a, uh, a mitigated temperature based off of the outside temperature. Um, but it is a full aqua hot system, all electric coach. Slide operations are all done through here as well. So you've got extend, retract, driver side, passenger side, uh, as well as you've got your patio awnings here, door awning, front patio awning, rear patio awning, and they do have uh, requirements in order for you to operate a lot of these things. So for slides, you need to have your ignition running. Right now we're not. You need to have your parking brake set and your chassis voltage has to be above 13.2, which will obviously happen when you have the engine running. You cannot run out your awnings if you have the engine running. Obviously, you don't want to accidentally put out an awning as you're driving down the road. Uh, we'll keep moving on down. Again, fantastic fans throughout. Here you can actually turn off and on the bedroom fan, but you can power up all three fantastic fans throughout, get some ventilation, open and close the lids. And the final button here is going to be your settings button. So this is where you can control things like screen brightness, dimming, set your time. Um, Fahrenheit Celsius and then you see these three things here so mobile app most notably Thor Motor Coach has its own mobile app it's called Vega Touch Mira and basically you scan you find that code you enter in the pin which you can reset the pin to whatever you would like and once you download that you can do everything I just showed you in your phone right here from your phone screen tablet Android device whatever uh, temperature, tanks, lights, everything we just went through, ACs, turn on your floor heat, open up your vent fans, put out your awnings, everything can be ran through this mobile app. Another thing I want to mention here 
is underneath mobile app, you've got switch panel info. So throughout the coach, you're going to have switches here on the side. So these are actually battery operated. And what's nice about this is if one ever stops working, you could, it'll actually tell you if you go to switch panel info, what the issue is, whether it's signal strength or it could be the battery on the back of it. So just a nice user friendly system. And that's a little bit of how to control our multiplex panel. And so when you check your switch panel info, what that information is going to give you is the actual signal strength and battery power of these wireless remotes we have throughout. So believe it or not, these are actually battery operated. They say they last up to three years, depending on uh, usage, obviously. And if it ever stops working, chances are battery might need to be replaced or the signal to the coach might need to be um, resynced. So it's a real simple system to use. And again, it reduces the wiring that we have to run throughout the coach. One other great notable feature about our Tuscany motorhomes is not only are we running 315 air conditioners up on the roof, all three of those 15 BTU air conditioners will have a heat pump equipped with a heat pump. So there's three heat pumps on board, as well as we run condensation drains on the Tuscany, meaning as that condensation builds up from the air conditioners, it's all going to pump down the coach and right out the back of the, the motorhome as well. We run all of our um, duct systems right down the center. So down the center of the motorhome is where all your air or heat pump will duct. And then on the outsides is where your filtered returns are. And we are running a whisper quiet air conditioning system, meaning even on high, it's not gonna be that loud. And so what's unique about this system is with these returns on the outside, that's where all your warm stagnant air is gonna be filtered or going to be returned, then it's going to cycle through the air conditioner back down into the center of the motorhome. And again, with three ACs, you're going to have three zones. You'll have the two up front here in the living room, the two back in the kitchen, and then two more back in the bedroom on either side of the motorhome. And that again is our whisper quiet, uh, centrally ducted AC system here featured on the Tuscany motorhome. Now I'm going to show off the Tuscany front dash. So one of the most notable features when you walk in and look at this beautiful front dash is this 15 inch Garmin uh, infotainment center uh, dash radio that we have. So what's really nice about this obviously is the size. You can run your GPS right through here. Again, it's a Garmin GPS system. You can put in your height of your motorhome, the weight of the motorhome, and that way it's going to take you down safe roads where you're supposed to be in, in these nice big class A's. Uh, if you tap the little wrench down on the bottom, you can pull up your camera and you can navigate through any of the cameras you want as far as the rear, the left, the right. As you flip your turn signal when you're driving, it will look out either camera so you can see in that blind spot. Another thing you can open up is your Fusion Media infotainment center. So you can Bluetooth, you can download an app and actually control this via a Fusion Media app, um, radio, uh, you can send the sound front to rear. It's just a real nice user-friendly system. And one of the other upgrades that we have have to this is here rolling forward mid-model year, you'll notice we have this RV controls um, section. If you open that up, check it out. We now have access to the things I showed you in our multiplex panel up front here right on the dash. So if I want to change the front air conditioner, temperature, I have access through that right here. I don't have to get up and go to the middle of the coach or open up the app. Uh, it's just a nice, you know, safety feature. That way it's right here in front of you. You don't have to, um, you know, again, be fumbling with your phone or fumbling, um, getting up and going to the center of the coach, but it just gives you brief access, not to everything that we have in our multiplex panel, but as far as your generator, you can turn on and off all your lights up front here now and again set your temperature on your on your ACs and your HVAC system. So that's a new feature um, here mid-model year on our Garmin 15-inch uh, uh, dash radios. Moving to the left, you've got a map light with this nice blue underlighting here. You got the blue cup holders um, with the blue lighting there, a night shade, a sun shade up front. Uh, you can start and stop your generator from here. This will ho house your uh, Fusion um, USB link so when you plug in your phone 
um, download the Fusion app. You can control this panel again from your phone. 12 volts. You got more 12 volts and one or USB plugs over on the left. The Tuscany is equipped with a push button start, meaning you've got a key fob, keep it in your pocket, and you step on the brake, and then you can start and stop your coach. All Tuscanies are equipped with the OptiView dash, meaning it's all digital. 2021 chassis we've gone to tire pressure monitoring system so it'll actually show you the tire pressure on on all your wheels as you're driving down the road it is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel and then one other benefit that the tuscany will have is these are what's called a hung pedal versus a floor mounted pedal so it's a little bit more automotive feeling and these are adjustable for ultimate comfort and drivability that way you can get those in the perfect spot, adjust your steering wheel to the perfect spot, and you can adjust your seat, six-way adjustable driver and passenger seats. Um, moving our way down, you've got your parking brake, again, light controls, another cup holder, mirror heat, auxiliary start, you got your cab light, service lights, docking lights on the rear and the side of the Tuscany, dash fans, air horn, and we do have a tag dump and a tag auto uh, feature here as well. So on any of our tag axles, we're gonna have a three-stage Jacobs brake, and there's a high, medium, and low. And so when you're in auto, you can set your high, medium, and low right here off of the actual Freightliner, um, Freightliner chassis and the Freightliner steering wheel column. So you got the off, high, medium, low, right there, easy to get to, easy to access, your shifter, is up and down on the on the Freightliner uh, again the dash there and then the final thing over here on the left is going to be your hydraulic leveling so it is a fully hydraulic leveling you turn it on with your engine on hit auto it'll automatically hydraulically level the coach in about 60 seconds once it's level it'll glow green in the center turn it off and then I can go start opening slide outs and things like that a couple other things here up front that we've changed is on our studio collection you notice with these driver seats you get this nice embroidered Thor symbol we've added this integrated headrest to all of our motorhomes up front and then the last thing that we've added is a, an adjustable lumbar support for in the center there for again just more comfort for your driver we have adjustable armrests and these are you see you pull the lever up front and you can set those to wherever you need it to be and then as I mentioned, this is six-way adjustable, meaning up, down, tilt, forward, back, and then you can adjust the pitch of the chair as well from here. So standing up front here in the front of the cab of the Tuscany, a lot of people really like the fact that we've added the drop-down overhead bed. We did this about three years ago. In 2018, we added this as a standard feature. Um, what's nice about how Thor Motor Coach has executed this is I'm 5 feet 10 and you can still see you can be 6162 and comfortably enter in and out of the motorhome without having that overhead obstruction. Um, but what's nice about this is you know you get the additional sleeping and you see how quick and easy this is to drop down. You do have a ladder that hooks in right here. The ladder is actually stored right underneath the mattress. And it is a 54 by 76 inch sleeping area with 500 pounds of capacity. And we have updated this from our original design where we've moved our power cable here over on the left where it's nice and hidden. And then we originally had the design where it had panels coming down each side and then the wiring was exposed on the exterior. So this has just been a real nice uh, cleanup and, and a, just a real nice design uh, in our, again, our flagship product, our Tuscany. It gives you the ability to sleep extra people. You can still have your theater seats if you wanted a table and chairs or not have to mess with your dinette. You've got plenty of sleeping up there. Leave your sheets, your uh, sheets, pillows on there, put it up and start your day. If you're not using it for sleeping, take it down, pull the mattress out, put down um, storage, sheets, towels, linens, pillows, blankets, whatever you like, put it up out of the way. If you got laptops, valuables, that type of stuff, it's got a key, nice and hidden, nice and uh, secure. And that's uh, one of the benefits of the drop down overhead bed here on our Tuscany motorhome.
So when it comes to entertainment on the Tuscany, it doesn't fall short. We give you all Sony brand TVs on the inside of the coach. This is a smart TV here where you can run apps like Netflix, um, entertainment right through the TV. I mentioned that it does have a WineGuard 2.0 4G Wi-Fi system on the roof, so you can access internet through that. All these, all your main TV will be paired with a JBL soundbar and a wireless subwoofer, so you get a real nice sound here, sound quality when you're watching TV, and how all of this is hooked up and accessed. So all your entertainment is gonna be controlled right from this front left cabinet above the driver's seat. This is where your Sony Blu-ray player and your HDMI switch box is housed. Uh, this will control your front overhead TV and your main living room TV. You'll find the same Blu-ray player and HDMI switch box back in the rear of the coach in the bedroom TV, and that will control the bedroom and exterior. Now up front in this cabinet, you'll also see that you have the WineGuard Traveler um, satellite system. That is the full-blown uh, direct TV satellite system up on the roof. You get to your destination, you power it on, that will motorize up, find a signal. It can be converted over to Direct TV if you need, or to Dish Network if you do need. Um, but this is where you're going to run your cable box. If you wanted to add a secondary cable box back in the rear, you could. Uh, but it is all set up for cable, um, or cable satellite features. And uh, again, we have the WineGuard 2.0 4G Wi-Fi system up there uh, for internet capabilities as well. So stepping outside the Tuscany, there's a lot of stuff we got to cover here on the outside. Um, first and foremost, the Tuscany is going to be equipped with this 30 inch wide entry door. So it's again a nice wide entry door, makes it easier to, for loading and unloading, just getting yourself in and out of the coach. Uh, as well as you notice our step cover is pretty unique as far as instead of having that step cover slide straight out and come up, this entire bottom step will actually lift up that'll cover the entry so that way you don't have your feet dangling as you're going down the road and you got a nice flat floor throughout as you're enjoying your coach it's a corian step we have a fiberglass tub inside of there so it's easy to clean it's not going to be steel or wood which can rot out and it's just a real unique design that my engineering and R&D department came up with several years ago for our entry steps on our Tuscany. Another thing to mention here at the entry, the Tuscany is equipped with what's called a box step. So you see this big heavy step here um, versus your traditional two, you know, smaller two step. And as well as we've made this a 28 inch wide step versus your standard 24 or 26. That way it's paired up with the actual entrance of the door. 150 gallons of fuel on all Tuscanys, 40 or 45 footer, you're gonna have 150 gallons of fuel on board. Uh, again, like I mentioned, independent front suspension on all these Tuscanys. And one of the biggest upgrades or one of the biggest features is we're running all hydraulic slides on the 45 MX floor plan. So hydraulic slides are stronger, more reliable, they pull heavier loads, and it's just gonna be much more consistent, quiet, and smooth operations on these slide out systems. And that's what we equip our Tuscany with in the 45MX, all hydraulic slides. A um, Couple other things I wanna point out. A Few years back, we actually started painting the end walls. So not only do we have the, the graphics on the front, but we also started painting the graphics on the side. So you see that blends in nicely there. All Girard awnings. So we've got Girard roof mounted awnings. We've got the Girard door awning to cover the entryway. And these roof mounted awnings are the most expensive awnings in the industry. And as you can see, they come right off of the top of the roof over top of the slide. got the lighting integrated right into the actual rail of the Girard awning and this is a Nova awning meaning it's going to come out and actually pitch down in the center and what's nice is is having the awnings mounted to the roof means we can run them the full length of the coach 
So here you can see we've got pretty much 40, 42 feet of shaded patio space or covered patio space here with these roof mounted Gerard awnings. Each of those awnings will have a wind sensor or a motion sensor that is adjustable. So as that awning senses motion, it will actually pull itself back in that way. Uh, it's, it's not going to run the risk of being ripped off the top of the coach. As these awnings pull in, I want to point out this slide topper. So here's one of the slide outs. This black um, casing on the end there is what's called the slide topper. So it's a much more heavy duty, uh, fully encased slide topper versus anything we, else we use within Thor Motor Coach. I want to point out the nice frameless windows throughout. They're all dual pane on all my diesel products, but it's a frameless window so you don't have that frame or a sliding window. And again, all of the windows are hinged at the very top. So when those, um, when those basically awning style out, you're going to have a full screen back behind there versus having that vent only open about halfway. On the exterior, in this slide out, we've got our 39 inch exterior TV. We mount a sound bar underneath the TV and what's very unique is how we actually bring that sound bar out and you can angle that in the best position of the sun. That way you can get your best viewing angle. I also mentioned earlier on the exterior we have actuated baggage doors on a Tuscany. So traditionally you would have to carry your key in your pocket and you'd have to manually lock and unlock all of these doors. But with the Tuscany, with a simple press of a button right on your dash, you can lock every single baggage door throughout the entire exterior of the motorhome with one press of a button. You don't have to go around and actually individually open these all with a key. So talking about storage, you've got a front storage bay there, full pass through with a slide tray full pass through and another full pass through. So three um, bays here for pass through, 240 cubic foot of storage down underneath. We'll always give you one slide tray. That way if you got heavier stuff that you want to load and unload, it's easier to obviously access when your slides are out. That'll slide through both directions. You can add a second and third slide tray if needed. Uh, just something that your dealership will have to basically order and install for you, but we'll always give you one. As we keep moving down, inside here you'll see we have a Tuscany mud flap or rock guard. That way you can hook that on into the back and it protects your tow vehicle from, again, road debris, rocks, things like that. In the uh, storage compartment, front of the drive axle. This is always going to be the same on every diesel as far as this will be your wet bay. So over on the other side of the coach is where you're going to find your hookups, your um, whole house filter for the fresh water. Um, but you'll have a gravity fill on this side so you can manually fill your 91 gallons of fresh water here on the patio side if need be. I mentioned docking lights earlier. The Tuscany is equipped with the docking lights on the sides of the drive axles as well as on the rear of the coach. And if you notice, this Tuscany is going to now be equipped with a what's called a steerable tag axle, as ultra steer from Freightliner. So what's nice about this is when you're at low speeds and you're making a tight turn, this wheel will actually pivot up to 12 degrees to minimize the amount of scrub on the tires. Okay, traditionally you'd have just a fixed axle back here and a, a tag dump where it would basically reduce the air off of that rear airbag so you minimize the drag. But Ultra Steer is now a standard feature from Freightliner and that rear axle will again at low speeds actually turn 12 degrees opposite of the, the direction of your front wheels so that way you get a tighter turn radius curb to curb and again minimize the amount of scrub on that tag axle tire. Great feature, 
um, and we're really excited to have it now equipped on the Tuscany. Stepping back here a little further, we got two more compartments. So this compartment actually is gonna house your DEF. Um, we're gonna do a 15 gallon DEF um, tank on the Tuscany, on the Tuscany tag axles, and it's actually a dual fill. So you have dual fill on your 150 gallons of fuel up front, dual fill on your DEF back here. So you have the tank on this side, and then a remote fill over on the other side, which I'll point out here once we get over to that side. This also has your solar charge controller. So we're gonna have two 100 watt panels of solar up on top of the Tuscany. And you can add one more solar panel for a total of 300 watts, which will again, will just basically put additional voltage on your bank of batteries. We're running six six volt house batteries on the Tuscany and I'll show you those over on the other side. The final thing that we have here is our Firefly um, control board. And this is where you'll find your chassis disconnect out here. So chassis on off. Um, the house disconnect is right there by the door. So here's where you're going to be able to access a, a, hand, a handful of the six six volt house batteries. But if we really want to get into the nitty gritty, Tuscany has gone to these nice barn style doors back here. And you notice there's no rear radiator because we actually equipped the Tuscany with a side radiator, um, which I'll show you here in a second. So we have access to all the engine serpentine belt. Um, fuel filters, oil filters, everything's real easy to get to for maintenance. You don't have to you know, have that radiator back here in the way. Again, it's something you only find on this um, higher end products, again, at this price point. Here's going to be your two 12 volt chassis batteries. And then again, here's your six, six volt house batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything's real easy to get to, real easy to maintain. So, when we switched to the side radiator, we went to this nice chrome on the rear here. It gives it a real nice high-end feel. I mentioned earlier we have a 15,000-pound tow hitch on this. So you can tow 15,000 pounds going down the road. Exhaust tailpipe. This is your Aqua Hot tailpipe. Again, it's an all-electric coach. You just fill up 150 gallons of fuel, and that's all you need. No propane on board on this thing. Up top, we've got those two docking lights up there on left and right of your backup camera, as well as I mentioned the two docking lights on the side. Tuscany gets the upgraded tail lights as far as these nice um, automotive style LED tail lights we've got mounted here on the rear. Stepping over here on the driver's side of the coach, you can see we got the side radiator, which frees up the space in the back there so you can work on your Cummins engine. Um, that's just uh, your uh, air intake for the motor. This is that remote fill I mentioned for your DEF. So again, you can fill up DEF on both sides and we can fill up our 150 gallons of diesel fuel on both sides. All that that door is gonna be is access to underneath the shower in case you ever need to get to the plumbing fixtures. We talked about the steerable tag axle. As we step up to this front bay, again in front of the drive, uh, the drive wheel, this is gonna be your wet bay. So over on the other side is where you could fill up your gravity fill for your fresh water. But obviously here, this is something that's new is, is we've added a power hose reel. 35 foot power hose reel, Glen Denning. So that's just real handy. You don't have to bring that extra hose with you to hook up to city water, um, but you can hook that up to city. You've got the um, whole house filter. So any fresh water that's ran throughout the coach is going to be ran through this uh, whole house filter. Um, the hose reel button is right there. Again, it's an electric hose reel. You can access power to your water pump, um, outdoor shower, you got low point drains, you got your drain for your fresh water here, as well as your black and your gray uh, drainage as well. We have an eight inch discharge port. So it gives you a nice access for when you hook up your actual drain hose, easy to get to. And this drain will always swivel. So that way when you're done with your uh, dump station, you can actually swivel that up, put the cap on it. That way you don't get as much uh, excess drip off uh, that you traditionally see in motorhomes. This first storage compartment that has the pass-through, this is gonna house the power cord and all Tuscanys are equipped with a Glendenning power cord reel as well. So 33 feet on the power cord, you can pull that out. Then that way when you're ready to put it away, 
Just a press of a button. It pulls in that nice big heavy cord for you so you're not having to lug that around the campground. All of our Tuscanies are equipped with surge guard, meaning it's got built-in surge protection right into the 50 amp uh, shore cable. That way you don't have to add that extra uh, surge protector at the campground. Another pass-through storage bay. Here's the storage bay with your slide-out tray. Again, it's easily sl slid out to either side of the motorhome for heavier equipment. In our final compartment, this is going to house the Aqua Hot. So we run Aqua Hot 400D system in, in this. Again, it's an all electric coach, meaning no propane on board. This is operated off of diesel or electric. So if we're plugged in or running our generator, you can have the electric turned on here. Otherwise, you just activate the diesel burner, and then that way it'll pump the basically an antifreeze or a glycol mix throughout the coach and it's a hydronic heat. It is not your traditional forced air that can dry out the air. This is um, the top of the line furnace. You get unlimited hot water from this and uh, it's just a very expensive thing that you only find in, in premium higher end motorhomes. And that's something that we've equipped the Tuscany with for, for many, many years uh, is the AquaHot 400D system. Working our way to the very last compartment up front here. This will house all of your hydraulics. So there's your hydraulic manifold and this will control everything as far as your leveling because we have a fully hydraulic leveling system. And this will also do your slide outs because remember I said the Tuscany is equipped with all hydraulic slide outs on the 45MX. Three slide outs, three hydraulic slide mechanisms Everything is controlled through here. These are color coded as far as the uh, hydraulic jacks and the slide out. So if you ever have an issue with the slide out or a hydraulic, it can be identified on the actual hydraulic pump that is having the, or on the hydro hydraulic ram that's having the issue. And you can come down here and override or, or diagnose the issue. Other than that, you have a lot of uh, Freightliner chassis fuses uh, inside of this compartment. And then this pole handle will give you access to your front generator. That's just a simple pull of the cord. And we're kind of tucked in tight here. But this is how you access the generator. And then the Tuscany generator will actually be on a slide out tray. So with a 10,000 kilowatt generator is what we equip the Tuscany with. That will actually, there's a button that motorizes that uh, generator out so that way you can access the side of the generator um, in order to do your oil changes, um, change the, uh, the uh, oil filter, that type of stuff. But the Tuscany will be, Tuscany and is going to be one of the only ones with a 10K generator. And again, when we have a 10K generator, it's going to be on a powered slide out. Um, LED uh, headlights up front. We redesigned the front cap back in 2018 when we put on the roof mounted awnings. Um, nice chrome mirrors, chrome arms. We put the camera, uh, as far as your blind spot cameras, up high in the actual mirrors of the motorhome so that way you can see down the side of your coach as you're changing lanes. Uh, we don't put the camera down here on the side where you, could you can get road debris and that type of stuff. One piece windshield up front. We run a full fiberglass roof on top of the Tuscany. So it's a molded fiberglass roof. And I'll mention some other things on the roof as we head over back to the other side. On our 2021 Tuscany up on top of the roof, there's gonna be several things I wanna mention. First off, we do a molded fiberglass roof cap. It's a fully molded fiberglass roof, one piece front to back. And that roof can weigh up to 600 pounds at only 40 feet long. So it's a big, heavy molded fiberglass. Also what you're gonna find up there, like I mentioned inside, is 315 BTUs, um, low profile air conditioners. Each air conditioner is equipped with a heat pump, which heat pumps are good down to 42 degrees if you're plugged in or running your generator. Also up on top of the roof with that AC system is again that condensation drain. So as those ACs are cooling, 
you're going to have a drain and it's all going to drip out the back of the coach back here. Uh, again, AC condensation drains up on top of the roof on a Tuscany. We also have 200 watts of solar up there. So two 100 watt panels. We can add a third panel for a total of 300 watts. For entertainment, we've got the WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi system on top. So that is a uh, 4G LTE capable Wi-Fi system. You can purchase gigabytes of data through WineGuard. It is a digital um, TV antenna, as well as a Wi-Fi extender. So you can pull Wi-Fi locally to the campground with that system. And the final thing that I want to mention that's on top of the roof is the WineGuard Traveler satellite that I talked about earlier. Again, it's equipped for direct TV, can be switched to DISH network, but it's the most expensive top of the line HD um, satellite system in the RV industry. And again, it comes standard on the roof on our Tuscany. So thank you everybody. Again, my name is Dave Daniels from Thor Motor Coach. This was the 2021 Tuscany 45 MX. Any questions, feel free to visit our website, thormotorcoach.com and have a wonderful day.